Hello and welcome to this DEXCO video. In this video we're going to have a look at some mainboard water blocks. And the ones we're going to have a look at are the AlphaCool Smart Motion water blocks. The AlphaCool Smart Motions are relatively small, compact water blocks designed to be universally compatible. They also come in six different color combinations. Here we can take a closer look at one of these blocks. And as you can see, uh, they're very flexible because they have these arms here that you can move in a relatively large range of motion. And this is one of the variations, but each block comes with three possible variations of mounting systems. This is another one uh, with these mounting holes here, also flexible. And there's a third one that I'll show uh, later on in the video. And one thing that's very interesting about these blocks is that they are uh, in a certain sense an antithesis to what's going on in the mainboard water block market right now because we've been seeing and you've seen this in some of my past videos as well we've been seeing these full cover mainboard water blocks lately such blocks cover every component of, on the mainboard all in one piece and while they look very nice and they're also pretty effective the problem is that they are a very expensive and b once you change the main board you can't use them anymore and these smart motion blocks are the exact opposite they're small they're inexpensive and when you change the main board you can keep using them every one of the blocks comes with a second top uh, two more mounting arms the mounting screws and nuts and springs and also some thermal grease all right let's take one of these blocks apart to see what's inside as you can see, the bottom surface is protected by a thin foil. We can peel that off and then you'll see that it's quite nicely polished to a mirror shine or almost mirror shine if that kind of thing is important to you. There you go. Now let's look under the hood. This top bit is really just there for fastening the mounting arms. And once you remove that, you see four more screws that are keeping the block in one piece. If I remove these four screws, I can take the top completely off. And here we can see the inside of the block with a very simple but well-made cooling structure. Now when I put the block back together again, I can choose the one of the alternative mounting systems. And you can see there's a second top for this, one with a mounting a screw hole in the middle. And then I can choose either the longer or the shorter one of the mounting arms and install that. And here it's already done. This is one of the three mounting variations of the AlphaCool Smart Motion. For a quick demonstration of how to install these water blocks, I have already removed the original heatsink from the south bridge of a main board here and applied the thermal grease. Now I take the two screws and insert them into the mounting holes on the main board from the back of the main board. Next I can place the water block on top and adjust the arms, the mounting arms, as I'm placing it to see that it's aligned properly. And once that's done, I just add on the springs and tighten everything down with the screw nuts. And that's the installation already completed. With flexibility of the mounting arms, you can pretty much choose in which direction the thread should be oriented when you're installing the blocks. Another thing worth mentioning is about the distance between the threads. You can see here, this is a smart motion block with two 16mm uh, outer diameter bits power fittings, compression fittings next to each other. So it's just about wide enough for these, but larger fittings won't go next to each other on this block. Overall, I think the smart motions are very well executed and it's a good idea. I think it's great that you get so much material with each of the blocks and I believe you'd be hard pressed to find a main board that these blocks aren't compatible with.